guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Danny. Today I'm gonna be sharing another Sam's Club grocery haul with you guys. I usually try and stock up once a month um, at Sam's Club. So I'm gonna try and have all the totals on the screen. I believe I spent somewhere around 360 something, maybe 370. Um, but like I said, I should have the um, prices on the screen and my total. But anyways, I'm just gonna go ahead and get straight to it and show you guys everything that I got. The first thing I got was, um, if you've been around, you know that my kids love these dinner rolls. So I got this really big bag of 40 rolls. Um, and this is probably not gonna last us as long as you would think because the kids really do like those a lot. Um, we would just put the, a little bit of butter on the top, frozen like that. We pop it in the air fryer for maybe like five minutes or something, really fast and really good. Um, then this is another favorite of ours. These are the Members Mark Southern Style Chicken Bites, three pound bags. These are fully cooked and it's the closest thing that we have found. Excuse my dirty floors back there. <laughs> I got a sweep. Um, the closest thing that I have found similar to Chick-fil-A and I did go ahead and stock up on two of these bags. I was debating on getting three, but I'm like, you know what? Let me just, I don't know if I'm gonna have enough freezer space. So um, I got two of those bags. Then I got some of this um, Members Mark, once again, the five cheese tortellini. Um, there's two packages here. This will get us two meals. If you're a um, bigger family than ours, we are a family of five, um, then you might be able to, um, or you might have to use both of these. But for us, we're able to split these. It's really nice because they're each packaged and you just can cut that with scissors. Um, so that'll be like two meals for us, um, possibly even with leftovers. But anyways, um, we usually just put some like marinara sauce or even Alfredo, or sometimes I look up some like uh, tortellini soup recipes. So there's a lot of things that you can do with this and I love to have that on hand. It has been a little while since I picked that up. The next thing I picked up is something else that I don't pick up too often, but we definitely love it, <laughs> especially the kids. But I got these um, Hot Pockets and there are 20 in here, so it's 20 pack. Um, so yeah, I thought it said there was something additional here, but no, there's 20 in here. Um, so again, that's just like a really easy snack when the kids get home and they're super hungry. So it's really easy just to give them something like that. Hopefully this will last us a while though, so that they're not eating these, um, every single day. Anyways, I picked up that. And speaking of another easy, quick little snack, um, I picked up these mini tacos. These are really, really good. So I went ahead and I picked up two packages. Um, these are chicken and cheese mini tacos. There are 56 mini tacos and like it says, it's a two pack. So this one big pack is again, like the tortellini, it's separated into two. So you can just cut that with some scissors. And we like to just throw those in the air fryer or you can microwave them. They're good like that or in the oven. They do not take very long at all to cook and they're really, really good. So I got two of those. So that'll be like four little um, containers, like I said. I was looking for uh, the Members Mark brand Bagel Bites. If you find the Members Mark one, they taste identical to the name brand, the Bagel Bites. So if you have those at your store, I suggest picking, picking those up because they're cheaper and you get the same amount and they taste, like I said, identical to this. But in my case, they did not have it. So I went ahead and I picked up this big box of 72 bagel bites. So again, these come in like little trays and I throw some into our deep freezer and some into our regular freezer. So the kids really, really like those. This is something that I have not tried before um, or that I have not gotten from Sam's Club before, and I just thought that this sounded really good. So um, it says, I think it's Havarti and Gouda snack cheese. So it's just these little individually packaged um, little cheese snacks. There's 24 in there, and I'm not sure if the kids will like these, but either way, I got these because it sounded really good to me. So that would be like a really good snack to have with maybe some fruit or some crackers or something. Um, if they like that, that'll be really good. But if not, like I said, that sounds really good for myself or even my husband. Then I got some of these pork egg rolls. And as you can see, there are 16 in there, two bags of eight. And we really, really like these. My husband is not a huge fan of egg rolls and even he likes these. So I um, prefer to put them in the air fryer. But if you don't have one, then these do fine in the oven too. Um, but if you have an air fryer, go ahead and throw those in there because it's really fast and they get like really crispy. It's so, so good. So um, we have those on the side of like, if I make an Asian style dinner or even just as a snack, I'll throw a couple into the air fryer, like I said. Then I picked up some of these Danimal smoothies. There's 18, I believe there's, no, 18 strawberry banana and then 18 strawberry. So a total of 36 of those little cups. So again, a 
the kids love that and they go through it really quickly so um, I got those for them and I am moving on to some produce here so I picked up these strawberries these look pretty decent um, I was looking to get two of these containers but I couldn't find a lot of them the strawberries did not look very good today but I just happened to find this container which actually looks pretty good so I only got one although I wanted two um, it's fine though because I got some other fruit um, I got some of these red seedless grapes and then I also got this big container of the green seedless grape. So it'll be really nice to just wash up all this fruit and the kids can have a healthy option as a snack. Then I picked up this um, baby broccoli and I don't think I've ever gotten like this kind of broccoli before. Um, I usually just get frozen broccoli, but um, my three-year-old, um, Bianca, my youngest, she saw this and surprisingly, I mean, she's like really picky and she's going through like a really difficult stage right now, but she was pointing to this and she said she wanted it. So hopefully she'll actually eat that. Um, if not, obviously myself and everybody else can eat that, but hopefully she will eat that because that was kind of random of her to want that. Then I got some of these little mini cucumbers. Um, my son and my daughter, the older ones, um, Gabriel and Isabella, they really like these little mini cucumbers, um, sometimes plain and then sometimes with a little bit of lemon or lime juice um, on them. So that'll be another um, good little snack to have. Back there in the back, I got some apples. I don't even know how many, oh, four pound bag of these apples. So the kids, again, another thing. Thankfully, my kids really love fruit. So I try and have a lot on hand. And behind there, I got a couple of bags of chips and the Cheetos are open because my three-year-old just couldn't wait. But I got the Cheeto puffs, which she calls carrots. <laughs> she still calls it that. Um, and I think it's so cute. And then the other flavor that I got was the sun chips, the garden salsa flavor, which is my favorite. And I hardly ever buy chips. Like I usually get what the kids want, but I decided that today I was gonna get something that I actually like. They can um, obviously try that and hopefully they like it too. If not, they can have some of the Cheetos or I think we have some like little individual um, packages of chips too. Um, before I get to the meats, I did pick up some of this. I don't know if it's Rayo's Rao's homemade uh, marinara sauce. Not sure how to pronounce it, but either way, this is really, really good, guys. <laughs> like, um, I know that it's super expensive at Walmart. I think one of these is, I don't even know, between six and eight dollars, like each. Um, but for this thing, I'm gonna have the prices. I wanna say it was like eight something or nine something for the two of these. Um, and again, we just like to have this with pasta or even with homemade pizzas. Like the kids like to make little DIY Lunchables and stuff. So this is like a better option for them. I believe it is like a healthier choice. Um, I don't even know where the ingredients are on this thing. So as you can see, all those ingredients are like things that you can actually understand. So um, yeah, but we, we really like this. They did have another kind of marinara sauce in case you're interested. I think it was called, I think it's the Prego brand. And they had like three huge jumbo um, containers for like eight something, I believe it was. So if you're looking to get like more for your money, then you could go that route but I was really wanting to get this brand, so I went ahead and I got that. And over here, I picked up this box of the family size uh, yellow rice. We really like this rice again, especially my daughter, Isabella. So there's six one pound little bags in there. Um, we just keep that on hand, um, and it does last us probably more than a month too. This is something that I have not picked up um, ever from Sam's Club, and I actually have not had like beef jerky in a really long time, like years. But I saw this, the Members Mark brand, they did have like the name brand ones, but I figured that this would be just as good, I'm sure. 12 ounces beef steak strips is what it's called, extra thick cut. And before I forget, I'm just gonna go ahead and do the meats since I'm they're right here. Um, I did stock up a little bit on some meats. I do still have meats in our deep freezer, but I decided to get some more. So I got this uh, two pack of the ground beef and I paid um, $18.51, it was $3.98 a pound. So I got that ground beef. I also got some boneless, skinless chicken breast, and this was $2.98 a pound, $19.52 is what I paid. The next thing I got were um, chicken wings, and for that one, this is $2.88 a pound, and I paid $16.01. And the last pack that I got were just some chicken drumsticks, and for that, it was $1.28 a pound, and I paid a total of $7.12. So that is all of the meat that I ended up picking up on this trip, which is actually quite a lot. I do um, separate everything into Ziploc bags, so this is gonna last us probably even more than a month because we do not eat like a ton of meat. 
I mostly make dishes that are not like that. The meat is not like the main star of the show. So I kind of make like soups and things like that. So we, this will go like a really long way for us. Then I picked up some of these um, dull little fruit cups. These are with the gel, basically fruit cups with like jello almost. So one of them um, or half of them are diced peaches and strawberry gel. And then the other ones are mandarin oranges and orange gel. So for a total of 16. And then I got some juice boxes here, the Capri Suns. There's 40 pouches in there. They are divided into four different uh, boxes with 10 and eight. This is actually not going to stay here at the house. My son's class is having a class party. So I offered to bring some juices and I decided there's, I think there was 30 something or 40 kids in the class. So I told them I was just going to get all the juices. So I did pick that up and it wasn't priced too bad. So I decided to go ahead and get that from Sam over here. I know this is upside down, but I got some pink beans and there are eight of those in there. We use beans a lot. And then I also got some black beans, six in there, and then the pinto beans, six in there as well. And then I got just a couple of non-food items. Um, before I forget, I did get another big, like 52 pound bag of dog food, which was $25. I just get like the members, is it members mark or Purina? I think it's Purina. Um, but it's a big 52 pound bag of dog food. It's already outside. I didn't want to bring that big old bag inside when it's going to go out there anyways. We have a big um, tub to put it in. But anyways, so I got the dog food. And then I also got these Downy Unstoppables. I don't really get these hardly ever. It's actually been years. But this huge like container, um, I decided to go ahead and pick it up anyways. So we'll see. I tried it one time years ago and it Really did make the clothes smell really nice for a long time. And then finally, the last thing that I got were just the Members Mark disinfectant wipes. And there are four, um, four packs in here. So um, I think I still have a couple on hand, but this is something that I like to stock up on every single month. So I went ahead and I picked that up. All right, guys. So I think that is everything. Hopefully I didn't miss anything. Um, this is one of the bigger hauls that we have done. Although I have seen some pretty crazy hauls on YouTube before. Um, but this is a pretty large haul for us, and it's all that fit in my cart, honestly. But anyways, thank you guys so much again for watching. If you are not yet subscribed, I would love to have you join the YouTube family. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Alright guys, I will see you in the next one.